Um, so in their first argument, they say that these weapons are being, um, they can't be prevented because they're being bought in illegally. And so no matter if we make the ban or not, they will still be bought illegally. But I feel they are misinterpreting our evidence for the FBI. Since these weapons are legal and they're being bought legally, the FBI is monitoring um, these legal guns as well as the illegal guns. So if these guns are illegal, like what I stated before, then, um, then all these weapons will just be targeted as a whole. Instead of trying to figure out who's a, a dangerous person or not, they can just target the weapons. And if you have them, um, then it's a crime. And um, in this evidence right here, the punishment for having assault weapons will be enough to scare uh, many away from buying the guns. According to Christopher Reinhart, a chief attorney on the OL OLR research report, um, uh, updated August 14, 2012, access November 11, 2013, where if they possess an assault weapon, um, and it'll either be a Class D felony, which is up to five years in prison or a fine of $5,000 or both, with one year mandatory minimum sentence. And that's if, um, and in the other case, it would be a Class A misdemeanor, which is at most a year in prison or a fine of $2,000. Um, if, and this is if the person proved lawful possession before October 1st, 1993, um, and otherwise complied with the act. So it's not like these people who they say, uh, like these gun owners and whatnot, like they'll, uh, they'll, they'll be owning a legal, like a legal gun. It's like when we banned heroin or whatnot, like if they owned it before, it's not like, oh, it's okay, like it's illegal. And they're saying that these gun shops will lose um, their jobs and everything, but for one, that's a part of the economy. People lose their businesses and people start businesses. It's just how the capitalism works. And, um, and also, they, these people are making money off of guns. These guns don't do anything but kill, destroy, or just break things. Like, they're made for, even if they're hunting, you're killing an animal. So, like, if they lose a job, like, I'm sorry. Like, it's, like that's just a part of life and our economy and whatnot. Um, they say we are, are losing our Second Amendment. Um, and the right to have guns, but the Second Amendment was written many, many moons ago. Um, and at the time, they didn't even have an army. Um, they, this was made for uh, the right to have a private militia, and for it was made for public defense. But nowadays, we have a, up like a standing army. We have our own like branch of public defense. We don't need all of us to have um, these assault weapons, military like style weapons in our homes. We don't need that. Because as we do that, we allow criminals to buy them because the FBI is spread thin. Um, and in his, uh, one, towards the end of his uh, arguments, he even admitted that the disadvantage was not unique um, and just that their support means something in a debate. And that's fine and dandy, but that means the disadvantage is not unique to our plan, which means the disadvantage does not, um, like, should be avoided. Um, and so, vote from it. Yeah.